So coming over four, four inches and putting a putting a mark. And then we'll come over here four inches and put a mark. And then where those two intersect, that's where that's where I'm going to center punch it. It's right there. So I'll draw that. Right there is where to be center punched. Be center punched right there, and the hole will be right there. So now we do the same thing over here too. Same thing where these two intersect, that's where it'll end up. There's one thing about me, and it's kind of it's good and it's kind of bad both. I, I am a perfectionist, and like I said, that's good and that's bad, both. It's good because everything is done right, obviously. It's bad because it usually takes me a lot longer to do things, and then you throw the OCD part in on top of, on top of that, and rechecking, and check, you know, remeasuring, and measuring again and measuring again and I don't know sometimes I may spend too much time doing this stuff so here, here's what it looks like from looking down on top of it so the field is going to be right here like I said that'll be that'll be center punched and I'll cut that with a circle cutter and then I'll make a flange to fit down over the over the field. And the same thing over here too. I'll do the same thing. I'll center punch it, circle cut it, and then I'll uh, I'll weld the field to it. And then I'll make a flange that will fit over it and weld it to it. And I'll 45 the sides off of it. But that's gonna look pretty good. I mean the the pump right there, the field right there. It's going to end up being pretty good. And then the vent, I will dead center the vent on this thing. Probably right smack dab in the middle of it is what I'm going to do with the vent. Put it right there. And it'll be a raise. It'll be a six inch pipe that'll come up with a vent on top of it. And that'll be that'll be that. So I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna like that right there. That looks that's gonna look really good. Really good. Be happy with that. that'll be the circle cutter on the torch will sit in that in that center punch hole right there and it'll make a perfect cut all the way around it. Show wheel. 
this is what it'll look like this will be where the pump goes right there except it's gonna have a flange around it too I'll weld I'll weld this on and then I'll fit a flange over the top of it and then weld it down now this right here I'm gonna cut the thread these bottom threads off I'm gonna cut that off all the way around so you're gonna lose that much height right there is what's gonna come off of this so this will actually won't set up quite that high and in the vent and it'll have a flange that goes around it too you have to put a flange around it because the metal's thin especially up here on the pump side because it'll be carrying the weight of that pump and that hose and then there's the vent the vent will uh what i'll do is i'll just drill a hole right in the middle and set this over it weld it weld it to it i won't make no flange for this and then on top of it here uh mac trucks has an axle vent on their axles and i'll get one of those and it fits it'll fit right there perfect and it'll make a good vent for it that's what i use for the vent is a uh like it says uh, off of a uh mac truck axle right, we got a parts house here in columbus that sells mac truck parts and uh I'll go there and get one of them uh, from them, but that's what she'll look like. And then it'll have some lifting rings. It'll have a lifting ring right there and one right there centered up where you can pick the tank up. And then it's going to have a, uh, a lifting eye on the face of it here for a tie down to put a ratchet strap on and tie stuff down. So that's how the circle cutter works. A lot easier than drawing a line and trying to cut it out. Alright, I'm in the process of making the flange now where the uh where the fill where it's gonna fit over it. You can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna cut on this line right here. And then I'm 45 and the corners off, and that's just to make it look nice. I, you know, I like the stuff to look nice, but I've done. I've center punched it right there, and I'm fixing to cut a three-inch hole 
which is uh, about a quarter of an inch larger diameter than what this coupler is. So, so you got to keep in mind there's going to be a weld. There's going to be a weld going around this, so I had to allow a little bit of room for that weld. So I've got the circle cutter on the uh, on the torch. I'm going to set the camera on the uh, on the tripod, and I'm fixing to cut the circle. Go ahead and cut the circle out while I got it clamped right here, and uh, and then I'll be able to grind it grind it out and all, and uh, and I'll do the same thing for the other one over there too. to it. Uh, let that cool down and I'll grind it out. And then we'll take the same piece of metal and cut that other one right there for the fill. It just won't be as large a diameter hole. It's a little bit smaller. Smaller diameter. I could probably cut it the same three inches and it'd be alright and I could fill it, in, fill it in. Because, let's see. Yeah, I may, been there, I may better adjust a little bit because this in here is not about two and three eighths. I'll make it a little bit smaller, but that's uh, I'll show it to you once I get it ground out here. <laughs> 